This is the memorial stone of the escaped slave Josiah Henson. He is best known as the real-life Uncle Tom because his slave narrative was of great inspiration for the character of Uncle Tom in Harriet Beecher Stowe's famous novel. The plaque next to the stone quotes Stowe herself, saying that Henson's memoirs provided conceptions and incidents for Uncle Tom's cabin. However, Henson's connection to slavery in the Underground Railroad goes much further than being an inspiration to a novel. Henson's life was remarkable in itself. This memorial stone can be found in the Henson Family Cemetery on the Uncle Tom's Cabin historic site in Dresden, Ontario. The crown on top of the figure is a copy of Queen Victoria's crown and represents the relationship she had with Josiah Henson while she was Queen. Henson was granted two audiences with the Queen on his trips to England, once in 1851 and once in 1877. Queen Victoria is said to have taken the deepest interest in his afflicted people. Though the site takes its name from Stowe's famous book, this memorial stone proves that Henson was a real person with a real story. Unlike his fictional counterpart, Henson successfully escaped from slavery and created a good life for himself in Canada. Though the site relies on Stowe's book for revenue, it works hard to bring Henson's true story to the forefront. He had been born into slavery in 1798 in Maryland, and though he was a slave, he became a preacher. He escaped to Canada through the Underground Railroad in 1830. In Dresden, he founded the Dawn Settlement for American Fugitives from Enslavement. The settlement was a place where former slaves could gain an education and also the skills necessary to become self-sufficient. Despite the danger, Henson became a conductor on the Underground Railroad and travelled back into slave states at several points during his lifetime to help other slaves escape. Indeed, the plaque next to the memorial also states that Henson's celebrity raised international awareness of Canada as a haven for refugees from slavery. This shows how the site has added towards the common association of Canada with freedom from slavery, ignoring the fact that Canada had too been involved with slavery itself.